The cable that is used is for a data cable or a phone line, data cable, excuse me. The first thing what we're going to do is we're going to be taking the stripping tool. There is a mark on here for A. It's a different size cable. This is for the cable that we are currently using. When we take this, we crimp and we are going to place it on and turn one complete turn. I'm roughly going about an inch and a half down, and I'll explain later as we're going through the process why we do that. Gently pull off the insulation sleeve. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to unstrand the wires that are placed. There is a specific color coding that we will be using. Now, these are general little tricks that will not be on the sheet that we're doing. What I usually will do is take my thumb and my forefinger and straighten up as I'm going. Do not press too hard to where you pull the insulation or expose the wire that are in. The next thing that we can do is to continue on the orange wires. Straighten the wires all the way through. As you can see, I'm keeping them together and I'm rotating and getting all of the stranding out of it. It'll be easier to work with when we put in our data plug. Now, as you see, I have an insulated wire on here. I'm going to use the cutting tools. There is a cutting edge that's on here for the crimping. You can also see that we are using the RJ45 line that we will be crimping eventually for. Turn it to the inside. Oh. Other way. Take out the insulation. Now we're to proceed to the next step. As I take this, we're not using the punch down. This is for a block that will be installed at a later point in time. There is a specific color coding that we must use. The color coding is one through eight. It's the RJ45 plug connector. This is currently the connector that we will be using. As far as listing it, it goes one through eight. The first wire is a stranded orange wire. Now, when I am doing this in the situation on here, I'm looking for this the orange wire that is going to be connected. What I try to do is get it to the appropriate area where it's not being moved as much. Again, on the very first side, pulling it out. The next wire is a solid orange wire. We'll pull it over and keep them in as tight as possible. This is where the extra wire comes into effect is because we can crimp and we can place this and orient it in the area that we want instead of trying to use just a half inch that we're going to be putting in. The next wire that will be used is the green stranded wire. The green stranded wire. I'll be placing this next to the orange and I'm trying to keep it in line using both hands as we're going through. And the current wire that will be coming next is the blue. Again, I'm holding it and trying to keep it as tight as possible to the base of the wire, the RJ45. The next wire that we'll be going into is the blue stranded wire. The green, solid green, will be wrapped over. If you see on the drawing on here, it's going to be wrapped over the front face and up next to the blue stranded wire. The file correspondent or corresponding wire is the stranded or the white and brown wire. And the last one is the solid brown. Now, as far as nipping the wires, this is the consistency that I wanted. You have to take in roughly about a half of an inch. And the way I figure out about a half of an inch 
is you see from your finger, your index finger to the tip, that's roughly about an inch. So you're going to go about half that distance. And what I'm going to do is place the cutter. The cutter is going to be cut as the blade as I'm cutting all the way through. I've just cut off my connections. I have roughly about 5 eighths to 3 quarters of an inch. I'm excuse me, 5 eighths to a half of an inch. Now, the trick area that we want to do as far as the installation. You want to make sure that you have the corresponding 1 through 8 set. As you see the drawing on here, we are going to place and we are going to slide into the openings. As you can see, it's traveling up the channels and you are going to push all the way in and up. The best way to do is take a look at the side to make sure the wires are passed or set in past the connections. As I'm looking at the crimping tool, I want to show you guys here. This crimping tool right here has an area of where we are going to set in and also has the tag release or the data connection that gets plugged into the jack. We will place that in a corresponding on here, all right, slide it in, and again, as I'm sliding in, I can see as it moves up. We will slide it in, and I want to pay full and constant pressure all the way until it is set. I'm going to release, I am going to test it on the rubrics as far as your plug, as plugging or plugging into the data center. I want to make sure it's tight and crimped. As you can see, the crimping tool has done two things. It has set it into the wiring harness and also has crimped the insulating um, RG6 line, or the CAD5 line, excuse me, around the cable, which is our RJ45 plug connection. 